Matthew chapter 24, part 2. 24, part 2. Okay, so we were just talking about him, Jesus responding with, you will hear wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Um, wait, did I miss nation against, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. These are the beginning of birth pains. Okay, so he's likening the birth of the new kingdom to come mm. to to uh, it being born. Mm. And it starts off with pains. Mm. But he says, don't be alarmed when the wars and rumors of wars are going on. The time hasn't come yet. Mm. That's what he's saying. He's going to get more and more specific mm -hmm. about certain things. Okay? okay, and you were just saying nation is ethnos, which is ethnic, which yeah. tribe. Tribe and tribe Okay, is how I interpret that. <clears throat> And you were saying Christians read this as like Russia, current China. signs of the rapture, and and but it's a sign of the rapture. Is does no. everyone believe in the rapture? No, uh, some do, but uh, it's uh, all the rapture is based on is a reference in uh, First or Second Thessalonians on. Paul teaching that those who are on earth when he comes will be lifted up. Okay, that's all it is. Those who are in the graves will be taken up. Those who are on earth and alive when he comes will be taken up. Uh -huh. That's the idea of the rapture. Okay, but that's not necessarily true? Or what are you saying? It's true in a sense, but it's not true in the way that people today believe it's going to happen in the future. Okay. Yeah. And All we'll right. talk about what happened uh, well, as we get through this. Okay. All right. Yeah. So... I should untie my idea that him coming back also implies us being taken up because <laughs> that I tie those together. Well, uh, that is the way some people view. see when, when it comes to study of end times, eschatology has a bunch of views okay. as to timing and place. I mean, yeah. like hundreds. Okay. So um, you should tie Jesus coming and taking his pure holy bride up from the earth when he returned. Okay. Okay. But that, if that is in our future, and then the world needs to be operating under some very specific New Testament directives mm -hmm. to be right for that. Right. Those things are not present for us today. They're right. present here. Okay. Okay. We'll get, we'll keep going with that. But So he says, don't worry because the time, those are just the pains of having the baby. Okay. So, so the, okay. They're just signs. They're yeah, part of the signs. Yeah, just some signs. And be aware, oh, it's starting. Okay. Yeah. They, okay. Um, then you'll be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Yeah. You, by all tribes. Yeah, specifically you, specifically the disciples, yes. the four that were sitting Who's with he him? talking to? Yeah. Yeah, he's talking to them. They came and asked the questions. This is what he says to them. You will be hated and you'll be put to death. So Christians today say, we're going to be hated. We're going to be put to death. And they set themselves up so that people will want to put them to death. Yeah. Because they're being such idiots. But these are specific to Jesus to these four apostles so they could know the signs of when he comes back. Okay. And you'll be put to death. They were put to death. Yeah. Those four only? No, but all of them all were of put them? to death except for John. Okay. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. Yeah. And so we have... Many Jews turning, families turning from each other as the, the day escalates and it gets closer and closer. Now, just to know, and we'll cover this in a minute, but from the time Jesus says this till when it actually happens mm -hmm. is 40 years. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at a long spectrum of unfolding of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the history of Josephus, you'll see that they, they started to hate each other. There were factions infighting wars with each other and father turning against mother father turning against son son against father, mm. all this stuff those are things i i mean i don't i still don't know from your teachings what is specified to refer to that i i know there's like the stones of the temple being taken down i know the big ones but like things like that do they the all, historians all, record yeah. it Okay. Yeah, they, re they, they report what they did to each other, uh -huh. you know, and, and uh, 
uh, how they treated each other. Okay. Yeah, because there were warring factions in Jerusalem over who was going to be in control, how to war against Rome. Mm. And, and, and something that doesn't come up here is that the Jews are going to try to overtake Rome in a war. Oh. That's Josephus reports it in his book Wars. Okay. They actually think that they can take on the Roman army. Wow. And it's their leaders who are so children of the devil that think they can do that. And when they do that, the Romans say, really? Okay. And God uses Rome to bring about everything we're reading here as we go on in this wow. chapter. Okay. And Josephus confirms it with the other ones. Okay. So... At that time, I'll read that again. At ta that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Okay. They'll be saved from what? The coming destruction. Uh -huh. That's what they're going to be saved from. They're not going to be saved to heaven or hell or whatever all this is. They're going to be saved from what he's describing there. Mm. All right? And uh, what he tells them is our very easy universal truths that you could apply today. The love of man is wax cold between us. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do it all day long and we mm -hmm. have for 2,000 years. And I'm not saying those aren't signs of something mm. that of what he says historically uh, rolling forward through human history and repeating yeah. itself. Yeah. Very easily could happen. Yeah. But what he's talking about right there is to them then. Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess I wanted to ask, like the many false prophets will appear and deceive people. Is that tied to like the Pharisees? somehow like inciting war against the romans are they false prophets yeah because they were one that, that's one example okay the big example is gonna be a non-christian who does miracles and he i don't know when that's mentioned but that happens yeah people can do the miracles yeah they do it by the power of darkness yeah if you go back to the old testament moses goes into egypt and says i want to liberate uh, and and so Egypt brings forth their magicians um, and they compete with each mm. other and the magicians can bring forth signs mm. we're gonna see Nero he heals somebody mm. like raises them from the dead you're kidding yeah, historically from Josephus so there were people who were bringing forth great signs and and many people were deluded and fell from the faith and followed after them you see, so what Christians today say is the Antichrist is going to come mm. and he's going to do all kinds of signs and wonders. Mm. They keep taking that and applying them to today. Mm. But we have historical precedent mm. that that actually happened through Nero and others. The, this chapter never speaks of Antichrist. No, the only place that speaks of Antichrist is John and Revelation. Wow. Yeah. But there's different names for him. Uh -huh. You'll see, we'll see that as we keep going. Okay. I mean, for Antichrist not to be in every single book. Oh, no, yeah, no. That already diminishes the weight of it. I just, that seems like the most important thing to people is who the Antichrist is. Well, it is to people today. I mean, yeah. people care more about that than the real Christ. Right. But then, this is when the real Antichrist was going to come. And so... Uh, you got to remember that if their writings were constantly talking about him, mm. then perhaps the Antichrist himself would have snuffed out the writings. Mm. So they're very ginger in what they do, and they talk about it, and they speak of him in different terms, like uh, man of sin yeah. and different ways and not just Antichrist. Right. I see. Yeah. So that someone couldn't, like, portray what the antichrist was based on the writings but they weren't actually him sort yeah of thing. that yeah. and all sorts of things okay yeah. and okay so people conducting uh we're not there yet we'll get there okay i wanted to also point out the one who stands firm to the end will be saved that's in reference to love of most will grow cold so standing mm -hmm. firm means you love at the end it means Would you're you like christ yeah and the thing is is you think well is that true i mean or is he taught if you go to the book of revelation in chapter two and three mm. you don't go there but no. jesus 
he's talking to seven churches of Asia Minor. Okay. They were seven actual churches. Uh-huh. This is before the Romans came in and all this happened. Mm. And he says, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, I'm leaving you behind. If you want to be, if you want to be right, you better do this. And it sounds like a different Jesus. It doesn't sound anything like the guy who walked the earth, mm-hmm. but it's not because he has ascended. And now Revelation is is telling them, this is how I'm going to reveal myself again. Mm-hmm. And here's all the signs you're going to see of how it's going to be revealed. But in chapter two and three, he tells them. Uh, hey, Church of Sardis, Church of Philadelphia, Church of Thyatira, these seven churches. I like this about you, but this better change. And that's, he's kind of reiterating that there when he says, those who endure to the end will be saved. Okay. But if you don't, you're going to be torched. Okay. Left behind, as Christians like to say. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me look at... I wanted to ask to, it says, I mean, this was back earlier, but when it says they, the disciples will be handed over and persecuted, put to death because of him, because of Christ. Mm -hmm. I kind of wondered exactly what that means. Like to be hated because of him is to tie yourself to him personally. Like they, like they would be putting like proclaiming that he was the Messiah. And and remember, this is the apostles he's talking to. Right. That was their job. Right. Is when he died, they would go out and they would say, we've seen him from the dead. Okay. And the Jews would say, no. Yeah, it's like, if that was, it's a really far stretch to take that and say, we will be hated because of him and we will be put to death. And people do that because it makes them feel that good. Yeah. And so what they do is they become annoying Christians and they'll go into a group of Jews and say, you need to yeah. repent, Jesus. And yeah. so they get treated bad and they say, we knew this yeah. would happen. Yeah. These guys, they were going into the wolves' den yeah. and they were saying, he's risen, Jesus, who you put to death. That's what Peter tells them. Yeah. And they killed him for it. That was kind of a clear statement, like to, because of him. Like because we don't of do him. nothing really... The only thing that happens to us now is persecution because we like love. People just don't like yeah. that if you're like a loving not of the type. World. Yeah, it's not really directly even associated with Christ. No. It's no. like everyone's a Christian. Yeah. Like it's no one really cares about that. No, they don't care. And the only place they care, and, and Christians will hold this up, is like North Korea. Right. Okay, and they'll put Christians to death there. Well, they put other people to death yeah. too. The real like hated because of him is when you are selfless and loving and stuff like that's i see that as the translation but there's no hatred when you say christ i mean there might be a little bit but it's not like it's nothing like that especially if you're a good christian who's cool and you don't judge and you do what christ did people don't hate you for that now they hated him then Hmm. yeah okay um i just want to keep going through my notes uh turn away from the faith people think it's happening today I do yeah I still wondered oh we got to that like how how things would be post rapture you know people will turn away from the faith this doesn't matter I just want to make sure I get all the questions yeah, out okay. I hope that's okay this, this chapter is one that you go through and it's like your first time visiting <laughs> Paris on a boat. I don't know if you can do that. It's the first time Gondola. visiting. What's, what's that? Venice. Venice, yeah. Venice on a boat. You see all you can. And okay. when you go back, you'll see more. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then let's just keep talking. I won't, I won't nitpick no, on the questions. No, use your notes, though. They're good. Okay. Where do we leave off? The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the world. Oh, boy. Okay. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the world, in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Oh, boy. Now, that <laughs> one, hang your hat on. The big question, has the gospel been preached to the whole world? Right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, that word there, world, is not cosmos. Okay. 
and it should be translated the gospel will be preached to the whole area okay that word is either gehe which means uh, the earth region or it's oikonomenia oikonomena and that means this the roman empire mm. so but economy. it's not cosmos yeah it's like this economy of yeah but we don't know which one it is we do i just can't remember oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. but people read it today, uh, and so what they say is, we need to get out there and preach it so that Jesus will come back. I okay, see. look at, Paul will later say the gospel's gone out to the whole world, mm. and he uses cosmos. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, uh, in that sense, it's done. That's In crazy. that day, yeah, and he does it twice. Wow. Yeah. So this whole thing about, well, there's a little... You know, it, it's in the hands of the Spirit. Yeah. And if Paul would say it's out to the whole world, then everybody had a witness is mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. And testimony to all nations? Was there a... a testimony to all tribes. Ethnos? All, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the end will come. Yeah. The end. Because they said, when will all these things happen? Mm -hmm. When will be the sign of your coming? And when will be the okay. end of this age of religion? Okay. Out of the world of this age, right? So he says, okay. now then the end will come. And then he starts getting specific of what that, because remember he said, okay. don't worry about things, wars, rumors of wars. It's not, those are just labor pangs. Mm -hmm. But then he says, then the end will come. Okay. So the just to go back, the three questions, when will this happen? What will be the sign of your coming? What will be the end of the age? So when will this happen? Has that been answered? He's telling them, he's crossing over both. He's covering oh, all okay. of it because it's they all... all come together. Okay. But now he's going to get more specific. Okay. Then the end will come. Okay. Okay. So you identifying at the start, you said there's three questions there. Yeah. Like because there's three questions, you're pointing that out because they're all associated and Jesus answers them all with an associated yeah. Yeah. answer. Okay. All right, just wanted to clarify yeah. that. It's not a chronology. It is an overview. Okay. Okay, so when you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Yeah. That it made no sense to me. Okay. Daniel, and to understand end times... You have to understand the Old Testament. Okay. And, and, and you don't, and I hardly do, but they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's cited, hey, it's going to be the fulfillment of Daniel. And he says the abomination of desolation. Who is that? It's going to be when somebody who doesn't belong, a Roman, is standing in the temple. You'll know. Uh -huh. This is the beginning of it. This is the beginning because you got a Roman standing there in the middle of the temple that Daniel prophesied of. He's called the abomination of desolation. That's another word for Antichrist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah, you're gonna, and so he tells those four, when you see this, know that it's here. This is when it's coming down. Okay. And Josephus reports when that happened. When a Roman, and I can't, I'm pretty sure it's Nero, but it could have been another one uh, before him, went into the temple. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that was the abomination because they weren't allowed in there. I see. Yeah, he's the abomination. And so Jesus says, when you see that, that's when you know. Okay, so do we have a temple where the abomination of desolation can go yeah. to now? That's you. No. The Temple Mount is controlled by the Muslims. Oh. Yeah, it's not even controlled by the Jews. And people think. They who maintains that the Wailing Wall was part of the temple? Most people who don't think and don't do the research and want to religion to uh, material religion to carry forward. Okay. Yeah. The higher ups of Judaism, who are higher ups that, in Judaism anyway right now? I don't know today, but I mean, they they are higher ups and they have been involved in all the covering of the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tend to think of, I'm not anti-Semitic because I don't see them as anything. I don't even see them as Jews. Yeah. They don't even have a temple. They can't offer sacrifice. They've got nothing. Yeah. So, but whatever they are in the name of that, pretty diabolical stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. All right. So what is let the reader understand? He's saying, 
he's John, I mean, Matthew is writing, but he's not saying it's going to be this person, a Roman, this person, he's going to do it. Just go to Daniel, see what Daniel says, read it, uh... and let the reader of Daniel understand what's going to happen. Somebody, and so Jesus says, somebody's going to stand in this temple, the abomination of desolation. And when he breaks that barrier and goes in there without authority and defiles the temple, this is big time. Mm. Yeah. And that must have happened when the Romans were taking down the temple. Was, it didn't happen when they took down. It happened before. Oh, before yeah, that. Yeah, before. Yeah. And Josephus reports it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're at 20 minutes. Okay. Part three. It's getting better. Coming soon.